Hi guys. So, um, it is October, obviously. Um, the spooky readings that I've been doing have been working out perfectly. I think a lot of you guys are um, really enjoying them and I really appreciate all of the support that you guys are giving um, in purchasing a reading. Um, we are creeping towards the first, well, today, actually, actually, as of today, we are one week into October, meaning we have only three more beautiful weeks left to enjoy the October month. Um, I really, really, really want to do a video where I discuss spooky stuff, um, paranormal experiences, Mainly, um, not just like some past experiences, but mainly like stuff that has been happening within the last couple weeks. Um, I actually had an encounter with um, an object that I purchased, a, a piece of jewelry. So I really want to kind of share that and do like a spooky story kind of a video um, and post that up this month. So that's something I want to do. Um, other updates with Cackling Moon. I haven't decided yet, you know, um, I think I'm going to just go back to my regular services in November. I don't think I'm going to do anything special or spectacular for November um, because I've been doing the Halloween theme readings all of September and October. So I think November, December are just going to be basic um, services and maybe a couple sales here and there. Um, I ordered a seance candle. <laughs> <laughs> and it's supposed to be sent out soon, so I know it'll be here before the 31st, but um, I ordered a seance candle, and I'm really excited to get that because um, I want to have a seance. I want to do something like maybe not with a group of people, obviously, because a lot of the people that I would love to do a seance with and I trust, um, they don't live close by. So um, I may be doing something solo. We'll see. Um but I really want to have like that experience, like a real intimate lighting the candle, sharing a space with spirit, pulling cards and just having a whole like little, like a literal drawn out ritual of it. Um, low key, I kind of want to just book a room like a hotel um, for the night to specifically do that um, because I don't feel too comfortable hosting. Well, not hosting, but like doing a personal seance here at the house um I would rather do it somewhere else where I have like I'm not worrying about other people so <laughs> might do that um and my husband and I are actually taking a week vacation together we're both we're just taking time off work um where we were gonna go somewhere we don't know where but we were gonna go somewhere um together but we decided rather than spending money um, we're just going to enjoy having the time off. We have a full week together. Um, we're going to hit up a maze. That's going to be fun. A little spooky Halloween maze. Um, we're going to catch a movie. We are, um, enjoying the fact that Walking Dead comes back on today, starting today. Um, so just like, you know, enjoying the the fall and halloween -y season, but maybe not so much doing a lot of the fun, crazy things that I, like, I, I hope to do one day once I have my own place. This is going to be the last time that I will be spending Halloween in a household with people who don't embrace the Halloween season. Um, next year, we will be in our own space. So it's kind of exciting, but it kind of sucks because we are in the pit of fall right now. Um, and there's only so much I could do about that when it's hard to, when you're living with people who don't really, um, they don't really recognize this time of year as like Halloween-y, spooky, paranormal, like they're just different. So <laughs> it's hard to get in that feel of it. Um, when you're living around people like that. So it's kind of exciting when I think next year we will be in our own space and I hope to like be hosting full blown like crazy readings and maybe even host my own seance. We will see. Um, but I really want to do as much and get involved as much with this time of year as I can regarding, oh, this is part of, um, the actual, the, the piece of jewelry that I bought, by the way. I have an allergic reaction to it because it's of the metal, but um, there's more to that story than 
just this. <laughs> but in case you're wondering, like, what is up with your chest? Um, yeah. So lots of cool things to update you guys with, but not much excitement. Um, you know, just getting through this end of the year, husband and I are going to be seeing how much we get qualified for for a house um, towards the end of this month. And we're going to start really house hunting throughout the end of the year. I'm crossing my fingers that we find something, but if we don't, we will still be moving out, whether it's back to renting or not, but um, we're ready to move on. So in the next few months, we'll see what happens, you know? <laughs> um, as we go through that phase though of moving, I will be closing the Cackling Moon shop in the meantime, just so I could just fully like dedicate my um, time and energy to moving and all of that. But that won't be for a while because like I said, I don't know how, you know, what's gonna end up happening. So we're not gonna completely knock our dream of getting a house, but if the house thing proves to be a little bit more um, expensive than we planned, then, you know, we'll be looking for a place to rent. So it just depends. It's all up in the air, really. Um, What else? Hubby and I are gonna go used bookstore shopping today. He's not really thrilled about it, but I want to. Um, I'm really like diving in hard with re with reading, not reading cards, but reading books. Um, every once in a while I hit a phase where I can't get into anything and I can't finish a book and I have finished three books so far and I just want to keep the going. Like I want to keep the momentum going. I've been reading young adult fiction. I've been reading adult fiction, um, which is a little unusual for me because usually I'm just reading a young adult. I don't know. <laughs> I can't really relate to the 15, 16 year olds anymore, but for some reason, young adult fiction is just so much more, I don't know. I find it just better to read than adult fiction sometimes, sometimes. Um, I'm currently getting through um, Stephen King Salem's Lot. I am halfway through, so that's cool. Um, I checked out The Exorcist. I think that's going to be my next book that I read unless I find something else at the used bookstore um, to read. But I'm totally diving into those scary horror flicks, books, not flicks, but books. Um, so if you guys know of any really good horror books, fill me in, leave me a comment and recommend some books to me because I am looking for them. Um, but yeah. So that's what we're going to do today. Sunday is like our day of rest. I'm doing laundry right now. I finished some readings earlier, so I've been productive. But um, as soon as it's like close to one, I think we're going to head out <coughs> and check out the used bookstore and maybe check out a thrift store because thrift stores have books too. But I just want to see what I can find. Sometimes I find like literally like metaphysical books and I get so excited. Um, but I just want to see. I want to see what I can find. And, um, and all of that. So just thought I would pop in here, say hi to you guys. I haven't really been putting up any other fun videos, just a bunch of readings, but I've been busy. I've been getting a lot of orders. So that's a good thing. Thank God. Thank you guys. Um, but I hope to be putting out some more fun videos that are not just readings. So, um, keep your eye out though. They're coming They're They're coming. I have some ideas. It's just a matter of like getting me to film them. <laughs> like finding the time to film them. Because when I do have the free time, like when no one's home, I take advantage of that time to film the video readings. So clients, paying clients always come first. And then all my other fun stuff comes after. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to head out. Thank you guys for um, your support, your love and um enjoying this spooky season and i hope to have some fun videos up for you soon but other than that love you talk to you guys later bye loves <laughs>